From heartwarming tales of childhood and growing up to brutal themes of gore and violence, animated movies provide a wide range of genres for viewers to choose from. While the medium is quite visually appealing and aesthetic, several animated films explore the darker side of being a human against a beautiful backdrop. Ranging from movies such as Perfect Blue to Akira, several adult and R-rated anime touch upon disturbing topics in an aesthetically gorgeous setting. Today, we will explore the top 20 old-school R-rated anime from the early 80s to the late 90s and explore their themes and aesthetics. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Akira, 1988. First released in 1988, Akira went on to become one of the most widely known animated films of all time. Set in a futuristic Tokyo in 2019, the movie explores the life of two friends, Kaneda and Tetsuo, in a post-World War III setting. Kaneda is introduced as the leader of a motorcycle gang while Tetsuo works for him and ends up getting into a motorcycle accident. Tetsuo gains telekinetic powers after the accident and we are introduced to a mysterious entity, Akira. Akira has disappeared from the scene for about three decades before finally returning and this unleashes chaos for the main characters as they try to navigate the world and get used to Tetsuo's increasingly dangerous powers. The movie keeps the viewers on the edge of their seats as they get into trouble with the military and learn about a secret military program that would probably change the world and impact their future. Akira transcends beyond the human world and explores concepts such as singularity and other dimensions as the main characters get sucked into Akira's plans. Akira is undoubtedly one of the best R-rated cyberpunk anime movies ever created, and it's quite a visual treat despite themes of violence and gore. The movie explores the characters' life philosophies and existentialism and touches upon topics that were generally taboo in the 1980s. The film is R-rated due to the excessive violence throughout the movie, but anyone who has ever watched Akira would agree that these action scenes are the life of the movie. The film is filled with gore and bloody shots of mutilated flesh, and these scenes often escalate into nightmarish imagery that might disturb some viewers. While Akira might sound like a bloodbath, the movie actually has bright colors and wonderful animation, and it surely captivates the audience's attention with its loud and clear messages that touch upon religion, politics, and destruction. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, 1984. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind was a fantasy film set in a post-apocalyptic world, and it was written and directed by the legendary Hayao Miyazaki. The movie follows the life of a teenage princess, Nausicaa, whose family rules over the Valley of the Wind in a futuristic post-nuclear war setting. The young princess lands in trouble when a huge aircraft from the kingdom of Tolmikia crashes into their valley. She discovers that Princess Lestelle of Pajite has survived the crash, but she soon dies after begging Nausicaa to destroy a dangerous humanoid weapon on board the aircraft. As the movie progresses, Tolmikian troops invade the valley and try to retrieve the embryo of the giant warrior to use it as a weapon while Nausicaa tries to put a stop to their plans. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind explores themes such as war and environmental damage, wherein Nausicaa believes in valuing any and all life forms and dedicates her life to protecting the forest. The movie's post-apocalyptic world was inspired by the sci-fi novel Dune, as well as several other films such as Earthsea, The Odyssey, and even Lord of the Rings. The movie is R-rated due to how it portrays fear and delusion, and there are several scenes with distorting visions and graphic representations of a post-apocalyptic world. Ranging from depictions of giant insects charging at humans to gunshots and scary explosions, this movie might not be suitable for everyone. There are instances where a toxic forest is shown to be lethal to humanity, and such scenes might instill fear in the audience's mind. However, Miyazaki executes these scenes in an aesthetically pleasing manner and promotes a strong message of being compassionate and respectful to all life forms. Heavy Metal, 1981. Directed by Gerald Potterton, Heavy Metal is a Canadian adult anthology film exploring several sci-fi tales bound by a dark force known as the Sum of All Evils. The first story focuses on an astronaut who lands in a desert canyon, and the second story builds on this premise and introduces us to an astronaut named Grimaldi. Grimaldi ends up unleashing the Sum of All Evils upon his daughter, who then peeks through an orb known as Lochnar and learns about this evil force's history. As the movie progresses, a 
cab driver gets caught up in a scheme to sell a device and a World War II pilot comes across an alien. Eventually, everything connects to the young girl as the story comes full circle and returns to her after taking us through tales of dark fantasy, horror, and eroticism. Heavy Metal received a lot of criticism for the amount of sexual content, nudity, and graphic violence that was written into the script, but it became a cult classic over time. It may initially seem bizarre, but fans have widely appreciated the movie's artistic direction and humor. It's certainly quite an entertaining watch, but the amount of sexual content makes it an inappropriate watch for kids. The characters engage in a lot of violence and use weapons such as guns and swords to kill several young characters. While an anthology film with so many different themes sounds chaotic, Heavy Metal does a wonderful job of tying these tales together, and it can be best described as the kind of movie that contains a wide range of graphic content. Vampire Hunter D, 1985. Vampire Hunter D is a terrifying tale of supernatural entities, and it follows the life of a girl named Doris Lang as she turns into a vampire. After a 10,000 year old vampire lord bites her, Doris seeks the help of a part vampire, part vampire hunter, who refers to himself as D. Doris asks D to protect her from the vampire lord and also entrusts him with the responsibility of saving her life and ensuring that she doesn't turn into a vampire. The movie is set in 12,090 AD in a world recovering from the effects of a nuclear holocaust, and it later inspired a series of anime and novels. In fact, Vampire Hunter D was one of the first anime movies that targeted the adult demographic in Japan. The movie was also quite a visual treat, incorporating several elements of gothic horror in a futuristic setting. In this manner, it depicted supernatural creatures such as vampires and wolves with a modern twist and was also filled with plenty of over-the-top fighting scenes and nudity. Ninja Scroll 1993 Ninja Scroll was an animated action film from 1993, and it followed the story of a mercenary swordsman named Kibagami Jubei as he embarks on the adventure of a lifetime. The movie follows his journey as he battles a group of ninjas known as the Eight Devils of Kimon and makes new friends in the form of a government spy named Dakuan and a Koga Konuichi named Kagero. Kibagami soon discovers that the Eight Devils of Kimon have supernatural powers, and then he does his best to prevent them from overthrowing the current government, also known as the Tokugawa Shogunate. Ninja Scroll was one of the first action anime films that gained popularity in the early 90s, and it is especially known for its clean-cut visuals. The action scenes are fast-paced and top-notch, leaving the viewers awestruck. Ninja Scroll is R-rated due to many intense fighting scenes and violence, as well as the presence of sex and nudity. The fight sequences include instances where a man rips someone's arm off and then drinks his blood, someone dies after being electrocuted to death, and a man kills his victim by crushing his skull. All these scenes are quite grotesque and disturbing, and there are also several graphic sexual scenes where characters engage in intimate acts or are even harassed by monsters made of stone. Devilman The Birth 1987 Devilman The Birth follows the life of a high school student named Akira Fudo, whose life takes a sharp turn after he ends up reconnecting with his childhood friend, Ryo Asaka. Akira and Ryo catch up with each other, and they end up crashing a party at a club. They're horrified when they witness several people turn into demonic monsters, and they are finally rescued by a kind demon named Amon. The three of them then merge to create the entity known as the Devilman, who strives to save humanity from the terrors unleashed by the demons. The show explored the history of demons and mythology, often including scenes filled with violence and gore. These scenes ranged from the demons attacking humans and stabbing or mutilating their bodies, to scenes where the demons were being killed, split in half, or even stabbed until their bodies burst open and spilled blood everywhere. The anime also had some sexual content and nudity, as well as harsh language and profanities. It later inspired several other pieces of media, such as Devilman, Devilman Crybaby, and more. So it's part of a popular, well-loved franchise. Wicked City, 1987. Wicked City is set in a universe where humans secretly live with demons who have set up their base in a dimension known as the Black World. While a police force, Blackguard, does protect humans from any intermittent danger, chaos is unleashed when members of the Black World radicals try to prevent the two worlds from signing a peace treaty. Moreover, these radicals intend to establish themselves in the human world, while humans such as Taki and Maki come together to defend their world. Wicked City was released as a dark fantasy 
fantasy horror film, but it can be best described as an action film. The fight sequences were quite intense and would leave the audience on the edge of their seats, and they often ended with gory shots of humans and demons falling to their death after being shot, stabbed, and even electrocuted. The film has an ongoing sexual theme, and there are several scenes filled with nudity and sex. These scenes were shot in an artistic and tasteful style, and the main characters were partially obscured, making these scenes appear more titillated. Wicked City is certainly a must-watch for fans of adult anime, and it is especially right up your alley if you enjoy dark, gory animation. Angel Cop 1989 Based on a one-shot manga by Taku Kitazaki, Angel Cop follows Japanese society at the end of the 20th century as they lead the world economy. While a communist radical group known as the Red May tried to overthrow their government and crash the economy, the government created a special security force to deal with them. These special forces wield the power to act outside the law, but they find out that another mysterious force has already started going after the Red May before they can get to them. Angel Cop was a sci-fi thriller movie, and it was packed with so much violence and gore that it had to be censored before release. In fact, the movie begins with a scene where a woman's brain is shot out of her head, and there are several other instances where characters are dismembered, stabbed, or killed. The movie is packed with scenes where the characters torture other beings and hurl profanities at each other. In terms of visual appeal, the movie has an aesthetic anime style despite the graphic violence and is quite plot-driven. Perfect Blue, 1997. Directed by Satoshi Kon, Perfect Blue follows the life of a Japanese idol, Mima, as she decides to leave her group and pursue a career as an actress instead. After retiring from singing, Mima finds ghosts of her past haunting her everywhere she goes. She starts seeing a darker version of herself in her reflections, and she keeps thinking about how she gained popularity by posing nude on magazine covers and performing as an assault victim in some movies. While the general public also turns away from her after she betrays her group, Mima starts questioning reality and cannot shake off the feeling that she's being stalked by a crazed killer. Mima finds herself on the verge of insanity, while this crazed killer also goes around the city and starts killing people who speak against Mima. Perfect Blue is perhaps one of the most unsettling dark depictions of what goes on behind the scenes for any famous artist. The movie takes us through the life and decisions of a pop star and exposes the things they must do to achieve fame and success, as well as the toll it takes on their sanity. While Perfect Blue might start on a visually pleasing and colorful note, the movie takes unsettling turns and shows extreme gore and violence when the crazed killer starts committing murders. There are scenes with bloody dead bodies and murders and the movie leaves one speechless with its seamless transitions from picturesque locations to crime scenes. Perfect Blue is also R-rated due to the amount of nudity and intimate scenes present throughout the movie. The movie touches on sensitive topics in quite a glamorous manner and it is certainly a must-watch for fans of the adult animation genre. Ghost in the Shell 1995 Ghost in the Shell is set in 2029 when technology has come so far that humans can now connect their brains to the internet and cyborgs are found everywhere. The movie explores the life of a secretive police division officer, Major Motoko Kunasagi, who is tasked with the responsibility of decreasing cybercrime and terrorism. While Kunasagi tries her best to do her job, she finds herself in distress as she is assigned to a case where she needs to capture a cybercriminal named Puppet Master, who is known for hacking into others' brains and even taking control of cyber to gain more information on others. The movie has an R rating for several reasons, mainly due to a few shots of nudity that are present at regular intervals in the film. The movie also has some intense fight sequences and shootouts, but most of these fights occur among robots and there is no graphic violence, except for one scene where a man's head explodes. The movie is considered a masterpiece in the cyberpunk fiction genre, and it portrays the rise of technology in quite an eerie manner. The movie also has quite a sophisticated plot, and it tells a dark tale about the future of our society. American Pop, 1981. American Pop follows the life of a family in 19th century Russia, and the entire family is known for their musical talent. However, they have their fair share of troubles, and we see four generations of their family struggle with their lives as they move to America in the midst of a war. While this family produces generations of musicians, they end up reflecting the progression of American pop culture as well, and the movie covers a wide range of American pop music and its evolution through the ages, beginning from the pre-jazz era to rock and roll and punk rock. The movie is centered around 
around music, and it can be described as a musical animation, but it also has mild nudity as topless models or singers appear on screen or in magazines in the movie. It also touches upon topics such as war and death, with severe graphic scenes throughout. The movie's plot is quite intense, but its animation serves as a breath of fresh air. The creators used rotoscoping, which refers to the process by which they film live actors and then use this footage to draw the animation. American Pop has very vibrant animation, and the movie even uses mediums such as watercolors, archival footage, and live action shots, and its animation is reminiscent of early American cartoons. Fist of the North Star 1986. Based on a manga, Fist of the North Star is an adult animation film set in a post-apocalyptic era where humans have turned on each other. Besides fighting other humans, the nuclear holocaust has made the world uninhabitable, and things only seem to worsen more and more by the moment. In the middle of all this, a man named Kenshiro emerges as a savior for humanity and destroys everyone who tries to prey on the weak. He's everyone's last hope and has enough potential to make the world a decent place once again. Fist of the North Star was full of fantasy and martial arts elements, and it was R-rated due to several disturbing graphic scenes. Kenshiro was a violent character, and all his fights were depicted in a realistic manner. The movie's animation was quite realistic, and scenes where Kenshiro sliced up his victims, poked their pressure points, and blew them up into a thousand pieces could be extremely disturbing to some viewers. In this case, the gory, disturbing, violent scenes were the heart of the movie, and they were executed with such style and class that this movie overshadowed all other adaptations of the manga. Golgo 13 The Professional 1983. Golgo 13 The Professional follows the life of a professional contract killer named Duke Togo, who also goes by the name Golgo 13. Golgo 13 leads a quiet and mysterious life and appears to be entirely committed to his job. He has a reputation for never breaking a contract and successfully dodging the FBI, CIA, and even the US Army on several occasions. As the movie progresses, Golgo 13 finally has trouble carrying out his missions when he encounters the snake and some psychopathic mercenaries known Known as Gold and Silver. Golgo 13 The Professional was the first full-length anime film that used CGI, and they used it in an action scene involving a helicopter. The movie was widely praised by critics for its animation design, and it even depicted scenes with violence and gore in a visually pleasing manner. There were several gunfights and fistfight sequences throughout the film, and characters were shot or stabbed in every other scene. While the movie is animated, it has quite a severe tone, and it is a must-watch for fans who enjoy crime thrillers. There's a lot of nudity present and many female characters are shown topless or even fully nude in several settings. Giver Out of Control Giver Out of Control follows the life of two students, Sho Fukumachi and Mizuki Segawa, as they come across a few bio-booster armor units built by the Kronos Corporation. While being cornered by a zoonoid, Sho and Mizuki stumbled across these units, and Sho ended up bonding with the armor. This led to a transformation where he turned into Giver 1, while a Kronos agent named Valkyria got her hand on another unit and turned into Giver 2. As the film progressed, Valkyria set her eyes on on the Giver 1 suit, and she even kidnapped Mizuku to lure Sho in and get him to hand her the suit. While the movie is based on a dated manga, it still surprises its viewers and is considered to be an extremely fun movie. The movie also has many horror elements, and the animation style is quite slick and stylish, considering the fact that it was released in 1987. The movie's storyline differs from the manga to some extent, as it's quite fast-paced and manages to hold the audience's attention until the very end. Giver, out of control, is rated R due to nudity and horror elements, and it has a scene where Valkyria's body is penetrated by Giver's tentacles while she transforms into Giver 2. Berserk 1997. Berserk follows the life of a man named Guts, who was raised by a mercenary group and trained to be a warrior. He later abandoned them and started working as a lone warrior when he came across Griffith and the Band of the Hawk. The Hawks used to fight for the King of Midland, and they even won a hundred year long war for him, and they finally attained a high status in the King's Court. However, things started worsening for them after reaching such great heights, and the series focuses on their troubles as well as Guts's life after he starts working with the Band of the Hawk. Berserk is undoubtedly one of the best anime created in the 90s, but it is certainly not for the faint hearted. The series filled with instances where where people are tortured, beheaded, assaulted, eaten by demons, set on fire, and even stabbed in a way that their blood splatters everywhere. And the main character, Guts, has an incredibly disturbing backstory. Berserk's violence and gore might be off-putting for some, but most anime enjoyers will unanimously agree that it's worth watching for its beautiful animation style and technique. 
The End of Evangelion, 1997 The End of Evangelion is an apocalyptic sci-fi film that served as an ending to the anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion, which aired on television from 1995 to 96. There have been many different endings in movies associated with the show, and this movie follows the life of Shinji Ikari after he falls into a depression after having defeated the final angel. On the other hand, Gendo Ikari decides to go to Terminal Dogma with Rei Ayanami and work on the Human Instrumentality Project. While Gendo has his hands full with the project, Shinji ends up in a situation where he has to make a decision that will determine the fate of humanity. The End of Evangelion is a beautifully shot animation film that attracted huge crowds of people curious to see how the story would finally end. However, it did stir up quite a controversy, and it was R-rated due to scenes involving graphic violence, sexual acts, and the use of profanities. There is one scene where the humanoid mechas engage in a fight, which results in many bodies being crushed. One of these mechas was graphically disemboweled, and he was then eaten alive. And there are multiple other instances of similar things happening throughout the film. Despite the violence and gore, the end of Evangelion is a masterpiece, and it is probably the best ending that the series could have gotten. Serial Experiments Lane, 1998. Serial Experiments Lane follows the life of a 14-year-old girl named Lane who receives a disturbing email from one of her former classmates who had committed suicide. While Lane typically doesn't use technology, she opens the email and is transported to a virtual world called The Wired, which is essentially a communication network system similar to the internet. She then starts getting cryptic messages all the time and faces strangers known as Men in Black who start approaching her and seem to know her well. The movie follows Lane's quest into cyberspace as she has strange encounters that make her question her identity, consciousness, and perception. The movie is set in the sci-fi genre and it was R-rated due to mentions of suicide and graphic violence. While the film doesn't have a lot of violent acts, the overall setting is quite terrifying and it keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. There's a lot of tension and suspense in the air throughout the film and it has an eerie and mysterious vibe. The movie also has surreal imagery and dark tones, making it a fascinating watch, especially for sci-fi thriller fans. Jinro, The Wolf Brigade, 1999 Jinro the Wolf Brigade is set 10 years after the end of the Second World War, and it follows the life of an anti-terror policeman named Fuse. Fuse is suspended from work after he fails to shoot a suicide bomber before she blew the place up. A young girl dies in the explosion, and Fuse then tries to learn more about her and comes across her sister. They become friends and somehow find themselves in the middle of a rivalry between the police and a counter-terrorism commando unit known as Jinro. Jinro was well received by critics and audiences, and the movie's animation can best be described as subtle and crafty. The animators had a lot of creative control, and they sure did have fun with it and made an aesthetically pleasing movie. Jinro was rated R due to its stomach-churning visuals and grotesque violence, as the characters use automatic weapons and bombs to kill each other. The movie also received a lot of praise for its art direction and character design, and it is certainly a must-watch among other R-rated anime films from the late 90s. Kite 1998 Revolving around the life of a young schoolgirl named Sawa, Kite is a Japanese original video animation written by Yasuomi Umetsu. Sawa was an orphaned girl who appeared sweet and naive at first glance, but she had a darker evil side. After her parents were murdered, a detective who worked on their case took Sawa in and started training her. Sawa grew up learning to take matters into her own hands instead of relying on the justice system. She would go after anyone on the wrong side of the law, and her training shaped her into a deadly vigilante. While Kite has soothing visuals and aesthetics, the movie has extremely gory violence and sexual content. It is one of the most widely known R-rated anime films from the 90s, and there are scenes where a young girl engages in intimate acts with an older man. There are several instances where Sawa shoots people with explosive bullets and then watches them as their bodies explode and blood spurts everywhere. There is also another scene where a dead body flies through a window and lands in front of a woman's dining table, and the movie has several such instances where murder and violence are aesthetically presented in pretty packaging. Mad Bull 34, 1990. Set in the dangerous 34th precinct of New York City, Mad Bull 34 follows the life of a police officer named John Estes, also known as Mad Bull. Mad Bull is known for going against orders and resorting to extreme violence while dealing with criminals in the 34th precinct. And the movie begins with him getting a new partner, Eddie. Eddie is just a rookie cop, and Mad Bull's questionable ways of dealing with crime often land him in trouble. However, Mad Bull always has a good reason to go to 
extreme lengths, and he and Eddie work together to make the precinct a much safer place. Mad Bull 34 is a good old cop movie filled with action, comedy, and romance, and it certainly hits all the right spots for a thriller. It's R-rated due to severe nudity, graphic assault scenes, and violence, and these depictions are quite unrealistic and frightening to some. There are sequences where men are shot consecutively, heads are blown off, and criminals are beaten to death. It's an entertaining watch, and the anime is packed with hilarious one-liners and amusing interactions between the cops. The creators also went all out with the animation, and there are scenes with graphic violence that cannot be stomached by just anyone. CONCLUSION While this concludes our list of the top 20 R-rated anime movies, this genre is a gift that keeps giving and is widely popular with the masses. These movies explore the darker side of being human, and also explore societal issues in a pleasant, aesthetic setting that makes them a light watch. While animated movies are generally labeled as kids' movies, some of these works are appropriate only for adults, and we hope that this list provides some recommendations for your next movie night. That's all for now, but if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and have a wonderful day.